Hello guys, welcome to PaulsonPowerTo.com. Today we're going to make a quick review of Doogie Hometown HD6. Uh, before we take a look at the phone, let's take a look at the standard packaging and the box itself. It's nothing easy, nothing spectacular, it's not a fancy box. On the back, uh, you can see, perhaps it, it's a little bit difficult to see because it's, uh, it's not well readable, but here are the details of the phone. Uh, we have 5.5 inch screen with HD, HD resolution, 2 gigabytes of RAM, 16 gigabytes of storage, and quad-core processor, but we'll talk more about it later. So once we open the box, we see the package where the phone was. And this is a case which came with the phone. We are not sure if this is the standard packaging or just our online seller put it inside. Right here, we have the OTG cable. Yes, Doji Hometown HD6 supports OTG. Uh, we have a micro USB cable. We have a really, really big charger. Uh, it's heavier than the standard smartphone charger. And it's come with Hometown logo right here. And it says that it's fart charging, fart, I'm sorry, it's a fast charger. So you should be able to take more power than the usual charger. It's, it's really big and heavier. And if you go a little bit down, you can see that this is some kind of pocket and we have a manual right here with the spare screen protector. And this is the pin for the SIM card trail slot. So just put it aside and we'll take a look at the phone itself. As we said, uh, this is a big device with 5.5 inch screen, HD resolution. It has an enormous battery, which is 6,250 milliampers. Uh, it has 8 megapixel camera, which is interpolated to 13 megapixels. It has a dual flash. You can see it right here. 2 megapixel front camera, which is interpolated to 5 megapixels. 1 gigahertz quad core processor. It's the new generation MTK 6735P, which is what we can say the basic of the MTK in these days. Uh, it has non removable backlit, so you don't have access to the battery. The SIM card trail slot is right here. And you need the pin to open it. The controls are placed on the other side. We have the volume jack right here, the micro USB port with the microphone. Uh, the phone is a little bit heavy, but it has a big battery. So this is absolutely understandable. It has a beautiful metal frame, which goes all the way around the phone. It's not just on one side. Or, I'm sorry, it's not just left and right, but it's also on the upside and on the downside. The capacitive navigation keys uh, have no backlight, so it's not possible to see them in a dark room. Uh, we like the design. It's really stylish. The metal frame is beautiful. Uh, it's a plastic bag, but you still get the feeling that it's really, really good device with solid build, no loose buttons. It has a nice grip. It's not slippery. So let's find more about it. Uh, let's decrease perhaps the brightness. It comes with a custom Doogie launcher. You see that the icons are modified. They are not uh, the standard icons. Okay, perhaps that's better, maybe. Uh, right here. Okay, so you see the icons, they are modified by Tui, not the standard Android icons. Let's go to the settings so we can take a quick look here. Uh, it's a phone which comes with Android 5.1. Don't expect any future updates, so perhaps this, this will be the, the software version which the phone will be 
no stick with it. Uh, there are a few different settings than the regular Android 5.1 settings. Uh, you can see also that the settings menu is modified as well. Uh, let's take a quick look at the first one, is the gesture motion. As you can see right here, it allows you to perform several actions just by flipping or swinging the phone in the air. And we have also system motion, for example, see three finger screenshots and other settings which you can find useful or maybe absolutely useless. And going down, we go to gesture unlock. So these are the gestures uh, which unlock you, which allows you to perform different actions when the screen is off. For example, draw C and the camera will start. You see, uh, going back to the settings, there are lots of different similar actions. And the last one we have here is the smart somato sensory, which allows you just to wave your hand and navigate the phone. For example, you do this with the launcher and you can see, perhaps maybe I'll just need to use my finger so you can see it. Okay, so that's all. Oh, as we said, it comes with two gigabytes of RAM, which is general generous amount for multitasking and also 16 gigabytes of storage. It has micro SD card slot, so perhaps you won't reach the storage limits too easy. It has really big battery, so you should be able to stay away from the charger for about four or five days, maybe. We performed some intensive benchmarks. Uh, we ran our tests and we were from 100% to 72% and we got about, you see it's two hours screen time, but just keep in mind that this is not like just regular browsing, it's intensive CPU and GPU loading. So perhaps you should be able even to get more screen time at this point. Uh, we think that this phone will be good for about 10 to 12 hours of screen time, although our tests showed that it is possible to reach about 14 hours. It's really, really great for such a budget device because this phone comes for about $130. Let's take a look at some benchmarks which we performed. Uh, we are not going to run the benchmarks right now, but we'll just show you. It's a picture of my dog. We'll talk about the camera a little bit later. I'll just show you a few screenshots. Uh, you can see more details about the benchmarks we performed and the results in our written review, which you can find in our website. Just follow the link under this video. Uh, let's just show you the Antutu, which perhaps is the most interesting test for most of our viewers. This is the score which Dugi Hontom managed to reach. It's almost 20,000. Uh, it's not very much, but if you're talking about the user experience, as you can see, the form performs all operations really smooth and it has no lag. So the score is one thing, but the real experience when using the phone is a different one. And we are satisfied with what we see. Uh, the camera. The camera is kind of disappointment because it's really nice, but only on paper. <laughs> In the real life, you not get really good pictures unless you have a really strong daylight. Uh, the details are not very clear. There is high level of noise. Uh, the dual flashlight uh, is just a gimmick and it doesn't help at all because it's really powerful. And if you're trying to take a selfie maybe with the flashlight or take an object, which is take try to shoot an object, which is really close to you, the flashlight will literally just burn it let me just show you some examples of what I mean. So this is this is taken with the flashlight. Uh, you see that there are not much details and the noise is really high. Perhaps you won't be able to see it here, but you can follow the link under the review and check the samples. Uh, this is a flashlight with an object close to the flashlight. You see that the picture is absolutely useless. This is the same picture taken without the flashlight. 
and this is with the flashlight. So it's not very useful. Uh, the color representation is not very good. You can see how bright this picture is. It's 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 not the real the real colors which you can see. Also, the front camera is a little bit crappy. Uh, there are not many details. You can see here it, it's really difficult to see any details. So the best which the front camera can serve for is just maybe a selfie, but just below the average quality. So don't expect much from the camera. Uh, let's go for the performance. Uh, we have Mali T720 GPU, which should serve you for the for rendering the graphics. Uh, we are a little bit disappointing disappointment here because we've seen better performance from cheaper phones even in the last year phones uh, equipped with mali mali 4 400 which is an older generation gpu but they had better performance so you should avoid playing any high graphic games because uh, they are really high amount of frame drops i'll just show you an example of what i mean you should either switch to the lowest level of details of graphics or just play some other game which doesn't require heavy graphic renderings okay a quick tour of asphalt 8 you see that it's loading a little bit slower but this is because of the processor which is not so powerful you can see even at the intro there are some frame drops even before the game starts so it's difficult even to render the video and you see the frame drops it's it's not very responsive it's not very responsive and it's, it's just difficult to play and difficult to drive the car. So it will be perhaps the same with all other games. Okay. So our advice is just avoid high graphics games. Just go for something simple. The browsing is fast and we have no problems with that. You can see how fast it loads the website. Uh, talking a little bit about the screen, so we have an HD resolution here, which is sufficient for this price. Uh, it has a good viewing angles, but the colors a little bit change at certain level. Let me try to show you what I mean. You can see definitely this in our written review and the pictures there. I'm not sure if it will be possible to show it at the camera. Okay, uh, right here. So you see how the colors are changing. This is what I'm talking about. This should not happen. But it's still better than what we have seen with other doji devices uh, actually this screen is not so bad we've seen worse screens made by doji uh, let's just try to play some video maybe let's go with some hd video not just in beaver <laughs> okay uh, the speaker is not bad but it's a little bit quiet and the sound is not so clear uh, you can see it plays the videos really fast no problems with that it's a little bit dark maybe you can just switch the brightness okay you see the viewing angles they are not bad but you see the color changing it's right here
So what do we think about Doogie Home Tom HT6? It's a good device for this price, really nice build, solid grip, big display, not the best one, but still a good one. Uh, you have a good battery life, enormous battery actually, the camera is disappointment, but after all the price is it's really good, so maybe it's something you can live with. If you're interested in finding more reviews about similar phones, just check our website. Just follow the link under the review. And if you want to see more details and picture samples about Doogie Hunt Tom, you can follow the link as well. Thank you very much for watching us. Bye bye. <laughs>